Today we are going to be tackling the Syngonium Elbow Moss Pole. Uh, it's honestly, it's going to be such a messy project. I have a bunch of towels here below me. Basically, we are going to be taking this off of this pole and we are going to be condensing it. And I want to put it on a clear pole. This is a little bit wider. It's a larger grow pole. So I'm thinking about doing like six vines across and having them grow up so that it's kind of full and bushy. So I'm probably going to be chopping a lot of this plant back and whatever's left, I might just put in a basket or maybe gift some like cuttings away. You can't even see the top of the pole. It's like, let me turn this. It is, woo. It is basically one vine <laughs> that has grown up this pole. And I don't like it. I don't know. I just don't like the look of how it just, it just looks really weird and I don't like it. So I want it full and condensed and I think having a clear pole will help achieve that. At least I'm hoping so. I don't know you guys. <laughs> I'm just going to film an attempt to do this and you guys will probably see this crazy process. Some of these poles I just, I don't know. I'm just not liking the syngonium climbing. So I'm just going to get started here right off the gate. There's a green stake attached to the back of this that I'm going to be removing first so that we can take a look at this pole. Like aesthetically, I feel like I'm liking my, the clear poles better. Like I'm not liking the look of the wire ones. It depends on the plant because if once the plant grows and it fills out the pot, then I don't mind it. But when it's just one vine and all you see is a chunky moss pole, for some reason, I just don't like that. I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to regret this. And I honestly, I don't know where this plant is going to go. But it's been in my bathtub for almost a week and a half now and I have other plants in there that I need to get out of the bathtub from when I re rearranged my room. So this is extended here in the middle. I am going to undo this top extension. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this vine right here. We're just gonna snap it because we're gonna be taking this pole apart. Done. Okay. I do have some roots that have grown, so I'm going to see if I can basically just transport this to this pole. Transport it. <laughs> Transfer it. I actually might cut this vine a few times. Let's see. And the leaves really haven't sized up. I don't really feel like Syngonium really truly benefit from a from a pole per se. I do find that they like to climb up, but I, I don't really see that they like increase in leaf size because the leaf size pretty much is the same as the leaves on the bottom, basically. I'm going to cut this in half right here. And I can reuse this moss to build this pole. So I'm going to be pulling apart a lot of moss. So I'm just going to like rehydrate this dry moss. I have a glass container here as I pull apart this. And I haven't done like anything like this as far as trying to transfer a pole without like disturbing the roots too much. And 
And I don't think a whole lot of roots have grown into this hole yet. Okay, <laughs> so this is a four piece cutting. It is oozing some white sap there on top. So basically, I think I'm gonna pluck this into here, you know, and I'm just going to fill up this plastic pole. I'm, I think I'm gonna do that with six individual cuttings and then just fill up with moss. I'm gonna try and get this to work. But I did just cut, cut away the entire root ball, so I'm not going to have a lot of roots. This plant isn't going to have a lot of roots to work with. So whatever, you know, was rooted into the moss is all that it's going to have. So hopefully that doesn't cause it to shock too much. have one vine done you can see and then the roots are kind of through the front of it and then I'll just refill with moss I hope you guys are getting my vision so this whole front side is just gonna be syngonium albo I hope the roots don't get too angry at me leaving them a little dry I don't know we'll try and work fast and so this top half, I'm gonna to have to pull apart more moss. And then I'll just reuse this pole for an extension or something that I'll have to do. I love Syngonium Alba, so I just feel like I'm going to like it a lot better when it's not, I just didn't like the way it was growing on this pole. I'm gonna be doing the same thing to my micans that's on plastic. I actually might use this because I wanna do a wire transfer, I think. So I'm gonna put the top half into here and let it climb up. So this pole like this, how it is, will be perfect for my micans. I'll have to do that one soon because it's still in my bathtub with the rest of them. So this one was a top cutting and that one, since I cut the top off that one's going to take a little bit to reestablish a new growth point and this one should hopefully continue growing you know as long as these roots can support the leaves that it has because it's not that many because that root system is all that's going to be able to support the growth right there all right do another feed through Chai. All right, so I sort of have two vines fed through the pole with the roots on the inside. All right, as far as this goes, I'm just gonna do my best. So I'm basically just gonna do the same thing. So I have it opened here in the back and I'm just gonna start removing the moss so I can salvage as many of these roots as I can. I'm gonna cut this main vine again, probably here. another section. I'm trying to keep it at four leaves so it's not super tall going on this pole. So I'm going to work on feeding all these roots through the top portion, the front portion of the pole. This is a very pretty section. I'm going to cut here.
This section is very pretty with that variegation. You guys can't really see what I'm doing too much, but basically the same process. I hope this one doesn't die. It doesn't have many roots. And I'll show you up close here, like once I'm done feeding all these through, what it looks like. Okay, I can do two more vines. I like the variegation on this one, and this one has more roots, so I will plant this part in the soil. All right, I just need one more. Then the rest of this I'll just cut up and put like in a pot. So this is what I have so far. I just wanted to show you kind of up close. So the thickly pole is six squares across, so I have six vines that are going up. And I basically fed the roots through the front holes and then they're out the back. I basically just have to flip this over very carefully and fill the backside with moss so that the roots are in the moss. And then I will close the pole up and plant this bottom half into soil. And then whatever roots that are here Will continue rooting in the soil and so i have like a couple smaller vines here and then i have um, a couple taller vines over here i'm really liking i think the look of this it'll be really full and bushy as it climbs and i'll just pin the vines to each one of the holes it's really hard to see um, as it climbs and the rest of this i'm just going to chop this up individually i'll probably just do some cuttings a lot of this is like reverted strands, so I'll just keep the variegated cuttings and make like a separate basket with those. Chai says hi. Yeah. Hey buddies. Star's right there. Hey buddies. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to fill this entire thing with moss. And hopefully I won't shock the plant too much. I'm gonna save this bottom little chunk here for soil. Okay, I think it sort of worked. I just have to re-secure these bottom ones and push these in a little bit. We are just going to be using some of Soul Soils. I feel like that would be the best just because I'm doing a moss pull. So carefully I'm going to try and fill this little section with soil. I think that sort of worked. And we're just gonna fill up around. I added some of my fertilizer in here and then I just filled up to the top with soil. So it's looking like that. 
And then all I'm gonna do is just secure the vines to the pole. Okay, these orchid clips work um, pretty good to secure them. Since these ones are kind of long, I think what I might do is take some wire and kind of secure these this way a little bit so it's not facing outwards, um, just to make it look a little nicer. This is the wire that I'm using. It's, I was looking for fishing line, but this is like stretchy. Um, I can link it. It's only, I think like six bucks on Amazon and you get a pretty good amount. I haven't used this yet, so I'm excited. So it's like stretchy, thin wire. And I'm basically just going to use this to tie the vines closer to the pole. So it like, so do you know what I mean? So like this one's flopping. So I'm basically going to secure it so that it's like a little bit more secured. So I'm just going to take my wire and feed it through this plastic loop and then just feed it around the plant and tie it together. Ah, uh, that's so much better. I'm gonna do this vine over here because it's doing the same thing. I love that it just lifts it up a little bit. Here is our finished project, you guys. Look at how good it looks. Ugh, it's so much better. These were all the leftovers. I have to clean my mess up yet, but this is all the salvageable extra nodes with leaves. So again, I have six vines that will be climbing up and that's what the pole looks like. You can kind of see where I tied some of the vines together with that elastic clear rope. And on that side, I tied it there and one there. And then I have it Velcroed at the bottom around the base to secure all the vines to the pole. And I have the orchid clips securing the other nodes against the moss so that they can root into there. And I gave the soil a drink and then I watered with Super Thrive to reduce any shock and the moss was already moistened so I didn't bother wetting the moss again. So I'm gonna find a spot for this in my plant room. I actually might leave it on this little table. I actually might put it, put it over there. I think there's maybe a spot right there for it. And this one I'll probably put on a shelf somewhere else, not in here, and let that root. So yeah, I'm really excited. I think it looks really good. I'm happy with it. I'll definitely have to be extending it sooner than later once those nodes, you know, start growing more. But thank you guys for watching this crazy moss pole thing. I have to do this to three more moss poles. Well, the micas I'm going to be putting on the wire, and then the other two, I think I might just take those off the pole. I don't know what I want to do with those, but I'm glad I got one of these done at least um, today. I'm, I'm happy about that. So stay tuned for lots more crazy repotting and all kinds of stuff on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about this or if you're curious about anything that I used, I can link it down below in the description. And yeah, leave me a comment if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.